Well, I was sent the script and um, I read it and I, I had read so many things and nothing was grabbing me and I just immediately there was a simplicity and a poetry um, in this film and then I met with Juan and I saw a short film which I thought was incredible and um, I knew that this movie could be like visually incredible and it's just such a beautiful story so that's yeah. Well, the whole idea of these, you know, parallel universes that connect and there's a political aspect to it, there's a romance, there's a whole new era that's created at the end of this film as well. So it's, you know, a lot of huge themes, but done in a very funny, quirky kind of world. So I thought that all that was handled really well. And, you know, people have called it a sci-fi movie, but really it's... It doesn't feel that way to me at all. It kind of has um, more of a, like a Brazil quality, I think, about it. Um, I always think that it's definitely closer to him because he wrote it uh, and, you know, translated. So the whole story is in his being at all times, which I think definitely helps just the story and and his emotional attachment to this, which can only make it more powerful. I mean, it's his baby, so it means a lot to him. I mean, I think it's more with Juan. I've noticed the best directors I've worked with create an energy on the set, and, um, you know, they, they really set the tone, and... I think that every time I, I go to set and I see Juan and he suggests things or just the way he does it is with such enthusiasm that you really want to do your best work for Juan. So I think he inspires you in that way. Eden's accident that happens to her that causes her to have amnesia really influenced the, the rest of the way I portrayed the role because you know, she's constantly living with this emptiness that she doesn't really know how to fill or what really happened or it's blocking her unconscious mind is blocking it out. And so I think that she's very much someone who lives in the moment and wants to celebrate and have fun and as she gets lost in her things like the tango and her work requires like a lot of intense focus. And so I think that She's very, very, you know, person who definitely lives in the moment because she doesn't always remember things, and so that's all she has. So I think that, you know, there's a, a sadness to her because of that. You know, it was really beautiful scene was when we're, I'm on his shoulders and we're kind of, Jim and I would practice this and we were like, this is so nerdy that I'm on your shoulders and we're like floating through the air and I'm, li I'm literally like on his shoulders like a child. And then we saw it and we're like laughing together and there's this beautiful snow in the forest and it's so beautiful, it looks so gorgeous that I think it's my favorite just because we were laughing and it, it looked really sweet and, and fun. And Well, his spirit is so great. I mean, he's just the sweetest, like, he has that a childlike quality about him that really, like, attracts you right away. You could step out on set and be in a bad mood or whatever, and Juan will make you happy. Just looking at his face will make you happy. He's just so full of life and, and it must be the Argentinian in him or something. And he only learned English in about three months. And so it's not that great, but he can explain everything pretty well because he's very vocal and very expressive with his hands and everything. So he's always like, you know, I get, I get what he wants, but he's always like, the hands are going, it's amazing. And he's like very, very vocal and like, he's very passionate. And so he's, you know, I, 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 I knew right away I was working with like a real artist, you know. In terms of the gravity, like whenever I go to his world to visit him, my hair always has to be back, so there was me flying up. So, you know, things like that really were funny and played into it. Like I could never wear a skirt when I visited him or a dress because it would be flying up. 
So that we had to be conscientious about. And Jim didn't have a problem because he has short hair, so it didn't really, you know, he didn't do anything. But I had to like have my hair like slicked back in buns for a lot of it because otherwise I'd look really silly. <laughs>